We can't have a road until you say yes. We want this road. There are challenges to life in the remote community of King Cove, especially when it comes to emergency medical care. We want our people to be at a hospital sooner than later. But on Friday, sooner wasn't the case for King Cove Mayor Henry Mack's sister-in-law. Video taken by a clinic employee shows a Coast Guard helicopter landing for 63-year-old Irene Newman, who needed to get to Anchorage for emergency heart treatment. The Coast Guard was uh, hesitant on getting in there because the weather was questionable in Cold Bay and King Cove, uh, gusting up to 70 miles an hour, snow blizzarding. Max says it shouldn't take hours to get help, but it often does. That's why many in King Cove want a road to nearby Cold Bay and its all-weather airport. In September, Interior Secretary Sally Jewell visited both communities. I know that uh, people come from different points of view. And on Christmas Eve announced her decision to reject the road proposal. That night sitting at the hospital, I wanted to call her up and tell her she should be here. Let's get rid of that, that nervousness, that anxiety that comes to our families when this happens. Uh, what a simple fix. But it's not so simple to the Wilderness Society, who supports the Interior Secretary's stance. We do believe that the road itself would uh, uh, harm uh, and fragment very important wetlands areas that are important for uh, subsistence species including caribou um, and waterfowl. They say Eisenbeck is designated wilderness and that a road wouldn't solve the problem. One option could be year-round Coast Guard presence in Cold Bay. It's not uh, a question of the environment over the people. Um, there are other better solutions and we do sympathize with the concerns of the community of King Cove. Um, but just don't feel that the road is the best option for them. We're here doing a job. An option that many in King Cove hope Secretary Jewell reconsiders.